Garbigny, you were down 1-4, love 40. A lot of players might have just let that set go, but you are a Grand Slam champion for a reason. What were you telling yourself to end up closing this one in straight sets? Well, that was a tough moment. I was just thinking to, you know, to stay on the set, anything can happen. You know, if I have to lose it, I'm going to lose it as tight as possible. And um, I was so happy I kept my composure there. Welcome back to New York, by the way, your 10th anniversary here. This is a place where you made your Grand Slam debut. Lots of love for Garbinia here in New York, as you can hear. How are you feeling? You tend to play your best tennis on the biggest stages. How are you feeling coming back? I'm feeling good. I mean, this is a Grand Slam that uh, I've been playing for 10 years, but it's uh, one of the ones that is resisting. And, um, you know, happy to be on third round playing matches. Um, I'm so happy. This is the 10th time. It's incredible. Speaking of being so happy, it's fun to watch your life from a distance. I mean, you're a model, you're on Instagram, you're traveling, you're an actor, you're in Africa for a while, and this gorgeous outfit. Are you a designer? We love this. Did you have anything to do with this particular outfit? Did you design it? Um, no, I did not, unfortunately, but I love it. It's from a South African designer. Yeah, and um, well, I mean, tennis is not the only thing in life. I think that you have to do other things to come to the court and feel like, okay, now it's tennis time. So, I don't know. Well, we love watching you play tennis and we love seeing you enjoy life. Make some noise, everyone. Garbinie Muguruza.